Hello, welcome back to Finish Slides. A pattern we're going to be tying today is uh, one that's been used quite a lot on the locks. Uh, it's a well known fly. This is based on the uh, black panel, but with a slight variation, it's the claret sparkle panel. The materials for this is going to be uh, claret tippet, claret dubbin, holographic red tinsel, and claret hen hackle. So, without further ado, let's tie the claret sparkle panel. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one again. If you've seen in the other video, the fly I was actually out of focus, so I'm just redoing this one. So, same again, size 12 comes some B100, black gutterman thread. Let's set the bit of silk down, trim that off. The tail is claret tippet. We tie this down just where the black barring just goes past the hook and pinch and loop two or three turns to catch them in. Next part is the red holographic twinkle. A couple of turns just to hold them in. Then we go the claret dubbin. Just place him out. Get that on good and proper. As I said before there, what we want is to get a body that's not too bulky, nice and streamlined. So once that's caught on, come back a couple of turns and start to go forward again. Okay, catch that in. At this point we'll just remove any of the waste. Four or five turns of the holographic. There's a difference between the normal panels here. This is why it's called the sparkle claret panel. Two pieces of twinkle coming back halfway between the tippet and the pinch and loop, a couple of turns, then bring the other two pieces underneath, catch that in with three or four turns. Trim that off to the same length as the other one. That'll help when it's going through the water. Give it a nice wee bit of sparkle as it's been pulled through the wave. Lastly, claret hackle. Catch him in. Trim off the waist. Secure that down. Lastly, hackle pliers. Hold the hackle up, just gently stroke them back. What well, the effect that we want on this here is for the, the hackle to be uh, nice and bushy but also being streamlined facing backwards. Gives a bit of movement when it's being pulled through the water. So each time you're turning around, just stroking the hackle. going through once you're happy enough with that there secure it trim that a bit off and these wee bits here you fold them back that's just give a bit more secure of the hackle once you're happy with that there type a nice wee neat head cast and trim. So oh, there you go, that's my version of the claret panel, the sparkle claret panel. As I said before, brilliant on the locks for brown trout but also a good fly for sea trout and salmon. So as we say over here, happy wrappings.